Kylo, good to see you. Your name, sis? Tashe? Good to see you, man. Kay, good to see you, bro. So, what we are here to do is, how you doing, man? What's your name? Larry. Larry. So, I want to pick up where my brother left off because we're talking about the black house. Right? We're talking about the structure of marriage, things like that, right? My phone, I had it on my phone, but it just died. When you, when you look up, who is the most unmarried demographic in America? Who do you think it is? It's definitely the blacks, right? Now, when you when you look at the black household, Dre, who's typically in charge? The woman's typically in charge. Now, when you look at any other race of people, who's got that going on? Who has their women in charge of their households? What do you say? What what nationality of people have? Now, I want the statistics because it's going to say the percentage of how many black women are married. When you look at a household, a, a nationality in their household, what nationality other than black people have their women in charge? You don't know because it doesn't exist. Because we're the only ones who have our women out in front. We're the only ones that have baby mamas and baby daddies. Now, as a nation, do we get stronger or weaker when we do that? Bring it out, huh? We get weaker. Now, the question is, where does that come from? Why do, why do we operate like that? Why is it that we are the ones that operate like that, that's but nobody else? System. system, okay? Let's read about the system. You ever heard of this book before? Hold it up. This is the Willie Lynch letter. You heard of this before? My man, you heard of this book before? My man with the gauges. You heard of this book? You heard of this book, sis? You heard of this? This book was a, a letter. This book was a letter written by a slave master in the Caribbean. He wrote letters to other slave masters in America on how to teach them how to deal with us. Okay, we're going to read what this Caucasian man, this slave master said. And it might shed some light on why the black households are destroyed. Okay? The Willie Lynch letter. Understanding is the best thing. Therefore, we shall go deeper into this area of the subject matter concerning what we have produced here in the breaking of the female nigger. The what? The female nigger. The breaking of the female nigger, right? Let me look at you in a second. Thank you, sir. So the breaking, there's a breaking process that this country put our women and our men through. Read. We have reversed the relationships. We have what? We have reversed the relationships. What did the white man do? Reversed the relationships. In her natural, uncivilized state, she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male. So they knew that in an uncivilized or not tampered with state, that our women would naturally gravitate toward relying on our men. But when the average black woman thinks of the black man, do you rely on us? Do you see us as the lords, the rightful rulers of the earth? No, we're not looked at by our own race that way. We looked at as what? Niggas, right? And when we look at our women, what do we see? Come on, bro. Don't you see a problem with that? Why do we? Why are we programmed like that? Read. And she would have a limited protective dependency towards her independent male offspring. Her independent male offspring. Sis, your young, your young son, can I ask him a question, do you mind? So, young brother, who, who is this guy right here? That's Jesus, right? What about that guy over there, who's that? This guy here, who's this? Who? Chris? Who's this? This guy, right, and who's that? Okay, okay, so. When I ask your young son who this is, because the roles, the mindsets of our women have been reversed, now when our, we're teaching our young offspring to look at this man as God. Now, is this accurate? It's not accurate. It's not. Not even, how old is he? Eight? All right, go to Revelation. You seven? About to be eight? All praise. Now, this is an example of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the reverse conditions of our household. What do they teach the young boys? What do they teach the young girls? Because if we looking at the so-called white man as God, and we grow up learning this in church, learning to clap our hands and bang on the tambourine, what are we going to grow up to be? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head 
and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had what texture of hair? What texture? How you doing, know, sis? Question for you. Question for you. Who is this dude right here? Come take a look. You're walking away. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White in color, woolly in texture. What nationality of people have woolly hair? Black people. Does that dude have woolly hair? No. That's silk, like a, like a, 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 a German shepherd. It's straight. Right? It's not woolly, curly like a sheep. Strike one. Three. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he had red eyes. Does this dude have red eyes? Strike two. Read. Verse 15. And his feet. Now we're talking about Jesus' feet, right? Read. Like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So they were the color as if they burned in a furnace. So what color are his feet? They're black. So if his feet are black, what color is his face? Got to be at least brown, right? So does this dude have a brown face? No, strike three. This is Caesar Bourgier. This is who, uh, 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 what's his name? Da Vinci painted the image of his gay lover, uh, Caesar Bourgier. Right now, the whole world believes that this is Jesus Christ. But clearly, we read in the Bible, he's what? A black person. Christ didn't matter. Uh, why change it? Right. Your masters? Okay. Why? why? Uh, Who more power? Okay. Okay. So is it fair to say that there's power in the image of Christ? Right. There, there's got to be. Otherwise, they wouldn't change it. Right. So, we just niggas, right? If, if they're the chosen people, and we're just what? King Saul. You remember him? So, that is the impact of the image of Jesus the Christ. That's right. If the king of the Jews is a black man in the Bible, what color are the Jews in the Bible? What nationality are you? That's not a nationality at all. That's the color of your pants. Right. What nationality are you? People from India, they are Indian. People from China are Chinese. Right. People from Russia are Russia. Africa is a continent, not a nation, named after a white man, Leo Scipio Africanus. I didn't ask you what continent you're from. I asked you what nationality you are. You would be a Jew. You would be a Jew. We're supposed to be on top in Jerusalem, where the earth. But because we sin, we're on the bottom. Jesus Christ is a black man, the king of the Jews. The real Jews are black people we we are brought here by way of slave ship for going against the commandments. Wake that's up. why they teach us that Jesus is white and God loves everybody when that's not in the Bible at all. The Bible's been taught to us wrong through and through. That's why our households are upside down. That's why our religions are backwards. That's why we don't know that we're the real Jews. We think we're African-American. You see the problem with that? What nationality are you, sir? 
half Indian, half Trinidadian. Half Indian, like your father's from India? My dad, father's from Trinidad. Your father's from Trinidad, so you would be from the tribe of Benjamin, all praise to the Most High. Bring it You're out! An Israelite. We're all, we are brothers in this fight, but we don't know what we're fighting against. We don't know why we're oppressed the way that we are. It's because we're the ones that were giving God's commandments. But when you look at the black community, when you look at Trinidad and Tobago, the islands, do you see people who we are related to keeping God's commandments or breaking them? When you look, where are you from? Where you, what city? All over. When you look at the Bay Area, do you see your people breaking God's commandments, yes or no? They live how they want to. That's what we were taught, right? That's what we were taught. But are we supposed to be doing that? Living how we want to. We're not supposed to be doing that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. We're not supposed to be doing whatever we want. The fact that we believe that your name is... Larry. Larry. I got an uncle named Larry. All praises. So, Larry, we were taught that we can do whatever we want in this life. Now, do you think that God is okay with us doing whatever we want? No. No, he's definitely not. He's definitely looking down on us in disgust, in disdain. That's why you got kids? You got kids, right? You got kids? No. You don't got kids? Hey, my man. You got kids? No. You got kids? If you had kids and you were a good father, would you punish your kids? You wouldn't punish your kids. I mean, like, consequences. Consequences for your actions. Any good father would punish their children. What is the difference with us? Right, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel. So God is talking to the Israelites. That's us. We are the Israelites. So God is talking to the black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's your brother right there. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? So God is asking you. What is required of us? Hermano, ¿qué pasó? ¿Cómo está? Bien. Bien. ¿De dónde eres usted? Nicaragua. Nicaragua, está perfecto. perfecto. ¿Crees en la Biblia, sí o no? Sí. ¿Cuál es su nación según la Biblia? Mi nación. Dice que es Asher. Asher, perfecta. ¿Entiende inglés? ¿Entiende sí, inglés? Sí. ¿En Nicaragua? Sí. Sí. Usted es hijo de tribu de Zebulón. Zebulón es su papá en la Biblia. ¿You speak English? Sí. Ok, let's read that. Right. But to fear the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. You know. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God is talking about requirements for the black and Hispanic men. People who are the children of slavery. Yeah. Hey, man, man, I need to be walking all day. Right you can sit right there, brother. Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God. We're required to fear God. But like you said, when you look at the bay, you don't see black men, Hispanic men fearing God at all. We go to church and clap our hands, but that's got nothing to do with what God said. Read. To walk in all his ways. We can do what we want. Walk in all his ways. God requires the Israelite man to walk in all his ways. Use your imagination for one second. And imagine black and Hispanic men unified, obeying God to the temple. Could anybody oppress us then? Can anybody tell us right from wrong then? Can anybody lie to us and say that we're not the children of Israel then? Can anybody hold us down when we obey God? Nah. That's why they have to lie to you. That's right. That's why they got to keep you in sin. Because as long as we sin, our God's going to kick our ass. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 